Voice of the Market research actually is very simple. Uh, what it refers to is having in-depth conversations uh, with investors, with customers, with analysts and others in the marketplace to learn about an acquisition or to learn about an investment. And the best types of conversations that you can possibly have are conversations where you learn about fundamental drivers of value, either revenue drivers, cost drivers, and drivers of capital investment. And when you have those conversations and can dig deep into what's really underlying a business, uh, that's a tremendous way to learn about opportunities to generate very, very high returns and to avoid investments that you better stay away from. Probably the best way for investors to get started is to immerse themselves in fundamental research that's available either in analyst reports, market studies, or company documents. And as uh, investors are looking through that information, they should begin to identify hypotheses they have about what's driving a business, what are the key issues in that business, and who are the leading experts that they see mentioned throughout this information. And once they've done that, then they're ready to have um, conversations with people they know, warm referrals to begin to dig deeper into those issues. And once they've done that, then they're ready to have conversations with people they don't know. Reach out to industry experts. Reach out to people who are journalists. Ask the journalists who are the leading thinkers in this particular business. And once they do that, then they're really ready to drill down and really get into some of the conversations that can be quite revealing in terms of what it's going to take to turn around a company. Well, there's certainly no uh, silver bullets and there's no formula that I can give you in terms of what types of questions. But usually, we suggest that organizations and individual investors ask questions around customers, competitors, um, fundamental uh, changes in technology. Um, it's also useful to understand what it is that employees of that organization think about it um, and really try to make sure that you've got a good handle on um, any changes that are, that are coming around. There are a couple of different techniques uh, that, that we suggest people should do. Uh, the first one is that when anyone is, uh, any investor is preparing to go out and do voice of the uh, market research, they should always write down the questions they want to ask. Uh, they should make sure that after a conversation they type up their notes. Uh, and then as they begin to type up their notes and look across various um, interview results, they should look for patterns of consistency. They should look for inconsistencies and they should actually drill back into their interviews with new interviews, drilling on things that they think might reveal uh, new insights about, about a marketplace and about a company. Voice of the market research is most valuable when an industry is going through a lot of change. Uh, that might be the case where a company is growing rapidly, uh, where customers' um, demands are changing, where new technology is emerging, or even when there might be a regulatory issue that understanding where regulatory, uh, the regulatory environment will change for the positive or the negative could be the difference between a terrible investment and a fabulous investment. So really drilling down on what those issues are and understanding what really uh, is taking place uh, is fundamental in terms of being able to, to drive superior um, investments.